Hello everyone, welcome to the Scrapyard. Um, got a couple of shop card shout outs and um, some uh, stash and uh, Scrapyard ads today. Um, first off, well everybody knows this guy, uh, Left Coast Customs. Uh, their uh, channel is really taking off. I mean, it's remarkable it went from um, basically zero to I don't know, I haven't checked today, but you know, it's right at a thousand subscribers already. Um, did some really great deals, lots of customs, I mean, great painters. Three generations of modders over there. You got um, the, your main, uh, main man, his daughter, and his um, his father, man. You see, that's always good to see, man, when you got multi generational uh, interest in the hobby. And next up, we got uh, Tommy Moore over at uh, Scale Plastic Hobbies. If you haven't been over to his channel, you need to check it out. He's a really pro prolific model modeler. He does a lot of customs. Right now, he's working on this uh, van slash pickup cust uh, full out custom, and it's, it's uh, it looks like it's going to uh, turn out really great. Um, he has a lot of bills over there, man. You got just really some fantastic stuff. Um, Everybody needs to check him out. Give him a guy. Give him a sub. All right. Uh, well, that's all I got for shop cards. Uh, I want a couple of auction lots. Um, some of y'all might know I've been looking for a uh, 40 Ford sedan livery body for a project I've got in mind. Well, uh, I found this. Got this on a lot. Hadn't never really seen this particular one before, man. It was got them. 22s and uh, the visor, the body's made a little different than the other sedan livery I got. It's got little ind indentations to mount the visor. Um, but I was glad to get this. And uh, like I said, the other one I got, man, it's a bag kit, but it's you know, but it's complete, man. It hasn't been molested or anything. Um, this one here, it's been worked on a little bit. It's all there, uh, but. That right there was all I was really interested in. And I probably wouldn't have bid on it if it hadn't been with this other kid. Um, the other part of the lot was this 32 Ford sedan, street rod, man, which I've heard this is a really excellent kit with lots of nice parts in it. But it was a, it's built up. It's built up as you can see. You know, and I figured, all right, I've dealt with glue bombs before. You know, no big deal. I'd be able to, you know, salvage most of it and redo it. But then I got digging around in there and I run across this. And if you don't know what that is, <laughs> that's epoxy, man. This thing's been put together with epoxy. So, uh, getting it apart is going to be kind of problematic. Um, I was doing some research over the weekend and said there's a chance that if I soak it in alcohol, it might debond it. So, I'm going to give that a try. If I don't, then, you know, it's definitely you know, in the scrapyard. Maybe. That's that. Then, another lot I want, I'd be a little bit more on this lot than I probably should have because of the condition of the boxes, but um, anyway, first off is this, you know, it's 32nd scale Nuremberg Chevy convertible, it's probably X Pyro, huh? There was, manufacturers made a lot of these 32nd scale kits, man, back in the uh, mid to late 60s, mainly because of the uh, popularity of slot car racing. Um, Anyway, that was just secondary to what I was actually bidding on. I got this. The box is really bad shape, but it looks like it's all there. I mean, or mostly there. Who, who knows? Boxes put up. I haven't got any inventory on it. But uh, that's one. That's a body. I, body I've been wanting for a while. Is that 32 Faden? 
And this, this is what had me bid, bidding on the lot. I've taped this box back up a little bit, so it ain't quite so bad. But the box on this is terrible, this too. And again, I haven't done inventory on this, but it does look to all be there. Uh, I'm gonna inventory it up. If it's all there, I'll do you know, what's in the stash on it. Um, this is what I was actually bidding on. You know, the other two were like secondary considerations. Um, I tell you what, though, if it faked didn't have been there, I probably wouldn't have been as, quite as much on it as what I had, but you know, good chance to get two for one. Right. There's those. And this third one, I would have done this video Friday if this had come in when it was supposed to. It didn't come in until Saturday evening, but um, anyway. Let me rearrange this camera a little bit so maybe we'll see a little bit better. I got this. Now, this makes the fourth one of the Hasagawa uh, 30, I mean, uh, yeah, 28 Fords I've, uh, I've gotten, uh, my late Fords. I've got two Roadsters, this one, in the pickup truck. I'm still looking for the for the tutor, but um, got a real good deal on this. This was, I think it, they had a buy it now at thirty bucks on it. And, you know, hey, 30, 30 bucks plus twelve dollars shipping. Shit, I'll take that all day long. Anyway, that's that. Um, as always, like, subscribe, share, tell your brother, <laughs> invite a friend. Um, I really appreciate everybody subscribed so far. Um, I never thought that I, you know I would have as many subscribers, um, and uh, it's it's been a really good good ride so far. Uh, this is a great community. But, uh, anyway, Anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, Y'all have a good weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.